James started dating at 15. And I don't see why I should be treated any different just because of the mere fact that I'm a girl. And anyway, most of the girls I know are already dating. You know Beth Brennan? Well, she and Jake Prudence have been a couple since the ninth grade. Bobby Lee. Yes, sir? I'm just one girl's father. Let's just stick to her. Well, in case you haven't noticed, I've grown up. Yes, I know you're growing, but the world's not the same place it was ten years ago. The consequences are higher. As I said this morning, the parents got more to consider. Anyway, your attention should be on... Here we are, Benjamin, seconds away from the 21st century, and the Harleys have yet to catch word of it. No, wrong. I am not young. And while the rest of the country is living it up, I've reached a ripe old age of 16 and I've yet to commit a bona fide sin. Shit, I might as well join a convent. The they got me locked up around here, I'd probably have more freedom. As it is, my whole life is dictated by people who have never stepped foot across the state line. Have no idea that a woman's revolution ever took place. That a whole world is going on outside, which I have yet to take part in. I take two steps out of their pressure. Hey, can you keep it down up there? Oh, look, Benjamin, there's a troll living under our bridge. Who's Benjamin? What are you doing down there? I was running. Stopped here. I was hoping you might come by. You got to be quite the stalker, aren't you? Why is it every time I say something nice to you, you... You can be really cold, Bobby Lee, you know that? Sometimes I wonder why I'm even into you. I've asked myself the same question about you. Really? Yes, really. run for the school on the track team or something I don't know never occurred to me I wouldn't want to though how come running's not really team sport I mean that's what I like about it it's not even a sport it's all about being alone That's a big part of it. Yeah. But without a race, what motivates you to go wear yourself out like that? Lately, I'm just running you off.
must be ignoring us, Benjamin. Are you ignoring me, Billy Joe? Do you have any idea what I went through last night? Are you listening to me, Billy Joe? Fine. Bobby Lee, I've decided that if we can't date, you know, out in the open like regular kids, then I think we should call this off. What? You heard me. Look, I don't want to hurt you, Bobby Lee. It's just... I think it's getting too intense for both of us. I mean, you're constantly working me up, and then you go taking off into the woods like fucking Peter Rabbit. Billy Joe, you know, you're the first guy I ever even made out with. And that was only like a few weeks ago. Why do you have to push? I'm not pushing anything. It's all happening on its own. Why do you have to hold back on what comes so naturally? You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin, would you? Joe. That's my name. Billy Joe, we are making progress. Think so? I don't know. Make it four aspirin. Damn it. Everything's so clear cut for you. You make everything seem so simple. But I've got like 20 different voices going on inside my head. And one of them's God. Make it six aspirin. And an enema. <laughs> Do you want to go to the fair Friday night? I'm going with you and my kids, but I can break away from the group. You'll dump a night with the young lifers for me? It'll be our first official date. Well, unofficially, of course. Damn it. Here comes James. So, so Friday night, what time? Six o'clock. I'll meet you by the church. Her feelings for Billy Joe had grown so severe it was no longer possible to separate the pain of it from the joy of it. It had all arrived in the same package, delivered right up to her door. belong to you? Yes, sir. Get in here. Nice, police, nice, we've seen. 
Jackson and Jackson, Rick Crossfield. Jump around the wall. You pick it up. Was around. There's lots of nice prizes. days when she stopped to look over the bridge, Bobby Lee found nothing but water. Something wrong had happened. She couldn't put her finger on it, but she knew it all the same. Billy Joe McAllister's mother. Mrs. McAllister? No, she's not a McAllister no more. She's a Alston or something. What'd she want? I don't know if I've seen Billy Joe. He ain't been home for a couple days. What'd you tell her? Told her I ain't seen him. Hasn't he been at work? When would you become so damn interested in Billy Joe McAllister? Just bored is all. We mom and dad got me cut off from everything. Damn, I gotta have some idea of what's going on in the world. <laughs> <laughs> 